Hello and welcome to episode two of the Pilgrimage with Brazil. My name is Jamie. Coming up on today's episode, I've got two games for you. We are away to Paraguay and away to Colombia, both in World Cup qualifying. So let's get straight into the uh, Paraguay game and I'll show you the uh, team in just a moment. Okay, so here is the uh, team for that game against uh, Paraguay, and it is Kevin Leonardo in goal, back four of João Victor, Carlos Antonio, Eugenio Carlos and Miranda, Marcos Antonio at the base of midfield, João André and Mateus Tadeu ahead of him, it's Wilson on the right wing, João Pedro on the left, and Leandro up front. So let's submit the team and go and give the team talk. Okay, well the assistant manager is recommending we're doing well and we're on a good run, let's keep it going. Um, yeah, absolutely, I think that's entirely reasonable, so we'll pump the fists and go with that. And let's go into the tunnel, complete our tunnel interview. Brazil were impressive last time out against Ecuador. How do you see, uh, how do you carry that form into this match? Uh, we have to carry that confidence into this match and make sure we use it to play as well as we can, absolutely. Am I hopeful of a performance today? Yeah, if we play as well as we can, we'll be fine. Any team changes likely for this one? Um, yeah, there'll be a little bit of juggling, certainly. So let's get into the uh, the match and as always first 10 minutes we'll just uh, see how that plays out and uh, make any changes that we need to after that. Um, it's a relatively even start to the match with 8 minutes gone and in fact Paraguay are having the better of it so I think a demand more at this stage is probably in order and Paraguay coming forward uh, Miranda tidies up at the back and clears. Uh, is Leandro going to keep it in? He does. He cuts in field, finds Tadeu, but it's cleared. And Galliano brings it over halfway. He's lost out though. And we come forward again. And it's Tadeu with the shot straight at the goalkeeper. And the highlight comes to an end. So we're evening up the uh, the stats, but uh, it's Paraguay on the attack again. Ball into the middle. Uh, in fact, he goes the other way. Rojas to Arguello. Aquano plays it in, and the shot comes in, but the keeper makes a great save. Corner to Paraguay. Uh, Galliano with the outswinger into the middle, headed away. And the highlight comes to an end. So demand more is definitely needed as soon as we can. Uh, Bernal with the uh, goal kick. We've won it back in midfield. It's played out to the left and Miranda finds Leandro. He turns and I think he's been fouled. He has to penalty to Brazil and taking it is Tadeu and he sends the keeper the wrong way and it is Paraguay nil Brazil one with 22 minutes gone so let's skip the replay we don't need replays so we'll demand more see if we can get another one João André to Victor back to Leonardo uh, Marcos Antonio to João André, João Pedro on the left, back to Tadeu, João Pedro with the shot, he's absolutely crashed that past the keeper, it is Paraguay nil, Brazil 2, 24 minutes gone, that's two goals in a couple of minutes and it's changed the complexion of the game and we're on the attack again here, Miranda to Tadeu, uh, Tadeu beats his man, gets the cross in. Jean Victor's header is just wide. And the highlight comes to an end. And suddenly out of nowhere, we're well in control of this game. And looking good. So into the last 10 minutes of the first half. 
and looking to just see it out with a 2-0 half time lead and looking now to see who we need to uh, take off at half time the obvious answer is João Pedro although having said that Tadeu and Wilson are not far behind so Eugenio Carlos brings it forward plays it into João Pedro he clips it in but it's headed away Carlos Antonio to João Victor and on the right hand side João Victor is tackled and we lose the ball Torres to Benitez who plays it forward to Rojas into Galliano. Galliano gets to the byline plays it back to Barrios Torres with the shot but it's wide and we get away with that one but we get to half time Paraguay nil Brazil to the uh, the score and uh, let's go into the dressing room give the lads some words of encouragement yeah we've got to be happy with that and let's uh, have a look at the uh, fitness of the lads hmm do we take anybody off I think we take uh, Leandro off and put João Pedro up front and Leandro can come off Jose Ricardo can come in fact I'm going to bring on Teo and that will do for the uh, half time change so we'll start the second half and uh, see if we can uh, build on an excellent uh, first half in the end and we await the first highlight of the second half so let's demand more I think we want to see a bit more from the uh, the guys uh, Wilson's having a poor second half and he's starting to struggle so we'll bring on um, Rodriguez and I'll wait for the third and final substitution and decide based on fitness who that's going to be if anybody at all as we come forward again Rodriguez back to João Andre infield to uh, Marcos Antonio today who's shot Bernal with the save Teo picks up the loose ball into João Pedro Teo turns finds Miranda Miranda to Tadeu Miranda crosses headed away and Ajeda clears and the highlight comes to an end João Pedro is going to come off and we'll bring on uh, Jose Ricardo for our final change with about five minutes left so he's not really going to have any time to uh, have much of an impact on the match so we're just about protecting our uh, striker today he is starting to struggle as is Jay Victor at the back so uh, Marcos Antonio's corner headed in by Carlos Antonio and it is Paraguay nil Brazil three and there'll be three minutes of added time to come and now it is just a case of have what we uh, or hold what we have and just see it over the line and that's exactly what we've done it ends Paraguay nil Brazil three I'll be back in a moment with the second match of today's episode okay time now for the second match of today's episode as we uh, face uh, Colombia away from home in a World Cup qualifier and the team for this one is Kevin Leonardo in goal back four of Miranda Eugenio Carlos Carlos Antonio and Jay Victor Mateus Tadeo at the base of midfield Teo and João Andre ahead of him João Pedro on the left Wilson on the right Jose Ricardo up front so let's submit the team and go and give the team talk 
Okay, well the assistant manager wants us to carry our last performance into this match. Um, I'm going to slightly disagree with him. Um, and let's say we're doing well, we're on a good run, keep it going. And let's go into the tunnel, complete our uh, tunnel interview. How do you approach this match with both teams in good form? Uh, they're a very good team. We're going to have relish the challenge of keeping our good form going, putting a dent in their aspirations. Is the first goal crucial? Uh, scoring first matters, absolutely. Leandro suspended, how big of an absence will he be? These things happen, nothing we can do about it. So let's get into the match. And as always, first 10 minutes, we'll just see how things go. And then beyond that, we will uh, make adjustments on the fly. Joe Pedro's corner, and it's ended up in the back of the net via Joe Victor. And that's his first goal for Brazil. So it is Colombia nil, Brazil won with less than three minutes gone. And it came back off the keeper, Joe Victor, first to react, puts it in the net. And that gives us, at the moment, a five-point lead at the uh, top of the table. Still a long, long way to go in qualifying. But, and it's a Colombia corner this time, headed away. Jose Ricardo collects inside his own half, feeds Joe Pedro. Plays it back to Tadeu, to the right-hand side and Wilson. Goes back to the left and Joe Pedro again. Today to Joe Andre Wilson has the shot too high and the highlight comes to an end. We've got off to a good start. We need to keep it going. So let's drop and encourage on the lads. See how that goes down. Uh, not as well as I'd hoped in all honesty. So um, Perhaps a demand more might be more effective. So Miranda has taken a knock. Let's get him off. Get Jefferson Felipe on. So that means we may not do our uh, halftime substitution. Uh, unless there's somebody who desperately needs to come off. Which at the moment I don't think there is. So I think we will leave it at half time and uh, wait a little bit longer to make that decision. It is half time, it's Colombia nil, Brazil one. I think we need to demand a little bit more of them. Uh, doing well, we can definitely find another gear. And let's go out there and let's demand more on the field and see how that goes down and it's going to take a little minute for the uh, effects of that to be felt but it looks like it's gone down quite badly although actually it's uh, it's had a neutral impact ultimately so let's do it again in fact we've now got an injury J Pedro and we'll bring on Kaike for his first appearance of my reign. And let's uh, get back out there again. Uh, we've got one more substitution left. I'm looking at Teo and thinking he needs to come off. But Zhao Andre also, and also Wilson as well. So... Zhao Andre looks like he's the one um, and Valdemar so we'll do that yeah Valdemar is definitely the right call uh, we're into the last 15 minutes still holding on to a 1-0 lead and it is a Brazil free kick and Jose Ricardo's over it, round the wall, is in the back of the net from the free kick. And that makes it Colombia nil, Brazil two. And that should be the match in the bag. So let's encourage now. And it's a throw into Brazil. Kaike picks it up. Teo 
to Jose Ricardo, back to Carlos Antonio, to Deu into Jose Ricardo, Teo loses it, Romero to Lugo, Romero into Veloza, back to Romero, all the way back to his keeper Perez, Diaz goes back to the keeper again, Romero picks it up, plays it forward down the right hand side for Soto, he plays it back to Veloza, into Molina, Soto to Rojas, over the top and uh, Javier Soto beats the Brazil keeper to it and out of nowhere it's Colombia 1, Brazil 2 so a demand more definitely needed as soon as we possibly can and uh, Kevin Leonardo isn't having his finest hour in a Brazil shirt today and he's getting worse so we need to hope that there isn't another Colombia attack incoming let's demand more and we're into stoppage time there's five minutes of it so this is not done yet and we're nervously looking at the clock in stoppage time seconds remaining and that is full time we do hold on Colombia 1 Brazil 2 I'll be back in a moment to show you the league table and to tell you what's coming up on the next episode Okay, time now to take a look at the uh, qualification table. And as you can see, with 10 matches gone, we're on 25 points, three points clear of nearest challengers, Argentina, and 15 points clear of Ecuador in seventh in the first non-qualifying position. So we're not too far away from guaranteeing a place at the World Cup, which of course is the minimum expectation. So let's have a look at what is coming up on the next episode. And of course, we will be back for the next qualifier, which is Uruguay away and uh, also Argentina away. And uh, that will be on tomorrow's episode. So if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for Monday to Friday Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.